Hey everybody, it's Coach, and guess what? It's cruise day. So, excited, but we did get a little bit of bad news on the way down here from Houston today. Um, they let us know about an hour before we were supposed to board that, oh hey, um, don't show up for a couple extra hours. We had some problems with the boat coming in today, with not the boat, the ship. Had some problem with the ship coming in today, and so the boarding times would be delayed two hours. That might have been good um, if they had notified us a little sooner, but it is what it is, so we're making the best of it. We are at Starbucks and enjoying a iced coffee while we wait until we can get on our new boarding time now, which has become 12.30, which was previously 10.30. Sorry for the background noise. Hopefully you can hear all this. Um, before we get into you know anything more, the purpose of some of these vlogs, our featured guest is Brent. Brent is a first time cruiser, longtime friend and colleague of mine in coaching. And we're gonna get right into some questions with him of what his expectations are as a first time cruiser. So without any further ado, here is Brent. And there's the background noise, that wonderful beeping that you're all hearing and the beautiful Carnival Vista in the background on the balcony of the Starbucks here. So, Brent, why did you make the decision to go on your first cruise after, how old are you, 30? I'll be 36 at the end of this month. 36, so after 36 years on this earth, you made the decision to take your first cruise, why? Uh, it's a, kind of the first opportunity I've had. And as far as summer goes, I unfortunately uh, lost my summer job. The company I worked for went out of business, and I decided to take some time for myself to just kind of enjoy life and you know, and focus on just kind of relaxation and travel and just kind of having fun in general. And then uh, obviously, uh, you know, Brad, who's doing the interview, is a good friend of mine. And for many years, he's talked about his experiences and just going on cruises in general. So, uh, you know, he just, the way he makes it sound and uh, the experiences um, that he's had enjoying the cruises made that sound enticing to myself. And I'm just glad that uh, I'm in a financial place where I had enough money to, like, so I could afford it. And um, having a good friend to do it with who knows what he's doing it's all a combination of, you know, it's like the perfect storm of all things. So uh, it's, I'm happy that it's all worked out, that I get to, you know, get to dive right, uh, dive in. Awesome. All right. Two, Have, having never been on a cruise ship, what, what do you think it'll be like? What are your expectations? Give a few examples or a couple examples of what you're looking forward to that you've heard about that it will be like, and then maybe an example of something you're concerned about. I'm, I'm looking forward to the part where uh, you know, I mean, we'll be going through so many. Uh, we have, I think, three or four different stops, so you'll be in different different countries. So you know, I know you're, you're not going to be there extensively, but you can say, you know, I've been here. I've been to Belize or Um I'm looking forward to that. Just you know, seeing new scenery, new countries, new places. Uh, I'm looking forward to some crystal clear water. I've never been in crystal clear water in my life, you know, coming from Chicago. Um, so looking, you know, white sand and crystal clear water. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to just, you know, fine dining, the different restaurants, the different activities, uh, casino, just, just kind of experiencing it all, you know, the, uh, other guests, new people fun conversations and just you know, the overall experience of just getting to travel and relax and just have a new experience in my life. Great. And then what's something you have a concern about that could potentially go wrong in your mind? I mean, to be honest, I've not much uh, as far as being concerned. I'll <laughs> tell you one thing I was concerned with. I guess it comes a little bit from being from Chicago is, you know, I have a, I have a lot of cash with me and like, you know, being delayed right here having cash a lot of cash on me and like you know being in a touristy spot that just kind of dawned on me but other than that i just you know other than uh capsizing you know 
know, I don't, I'm really go into it with any concerns. And then when you look at this thing and all the protocols I'm sure they have to go through, I really don't feel any concern in that regard. Speaking of the ship behind you, first impression when you first saw it, bigger than you thought it would be? Smaller uh, yeah, than you thought yeah, it would I've be? Never, I've never seen one in my life, and I only compared to the ships I've seen at Navy Pier, and this has got to be about 10 times the size of the biggest you know, ship I've ever seen. Like something you said, it's just like a city, a city on, you know, on the water. It's, it's a gas thing. It's baffling. You see it. If you've never seen one and you see it, you just realize how big it is. It's tremendous. All right. So now this is your first cruise ever, but for many of us that are avid cruisers and myself, this will be my first cruise in about a year and a half because of the pandemic, COVID and all that other stuff. So you know that by now that, you know, at Carnival, it's almost a fully vaccinated ship, 95%. There's going to be no mask required while you're on the ship. You know, only um, when we're going through registration and debarkation are they going to are we going to have to wear a mask. So, is there any concern at all in your mind regarding COVID or to be honest with you? COVID? Um, you know, I mean, I've done my part as far as being vaccinated, and you know. That's all, all I can do, I, you know, mask up in certain situations where you're just gonna have no choice but to be closed. So to be honest, I don't, I think if I was worried about that, I think that would hinder the experience and the time I've been looking forward to having here. So to be honest, it's, 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 it's not really on my mind at all. I mean, it's there because it's, it's booming everywhere in conversation. But to be honest, I'm, I'm not gonna let it hinder experience I came here for. Absolutely. Okay. Um, now, Ports of Call, you mentioned uh, Belize and Cozumel, and then also Roatan, Honduras as a spot. So everybody has their different ways to enjoy a vacation. Some people are adventurous. Some people just want to completely relax and decompress. Some people are big partiers and, you know, want to just go go nuts that way what's your it not any particular island or spot but what's your ideal day your perfect day you mentioned crystal clear water um, so if you have a perfect day on this cruise in one of these ports what does that day look like to you what are you doing you know where are you going um, I'm really going into it open-minded with as an open book obviously I've been you know you've been on so many I'm kind of following your lead as to you know what to do but for myself I look forward to just relaxing uh, you know white sand beaches uh, crystal clear water trying all sorts of different tropical drinks um, I look forward to you know that and then just enjoying the different sites and new countries and I'm sure they all have you know I mean they're probably similar but unique in what they're offering so I'm more you know, I'm less uh, minded of the activities and more to me just relaxing and soaking it all in enjoying some tropical drinks and just you know good company all right great okay uh, do you plan on doing any souvenir shopping or anything since you're in these different countries as you mentioned and islands uh... I, you know uh, I just they'll be in the moment you know if something kind of stands out or I think something's cool uh, you know I'd love to grab something and have a memento so I can look back at this time and remember the experience uh, that said packing for a week with two carry-ons I don't have much space for more things to bring back, so I will have to. I'll have to be a little conscious of that. But let's we'll see if something strikes my eye. Of course, I'd like to bring something back. Obviously, something small would be ideal. So, yeah, we'll see what strikes my eye, and uh, hope we can find something cool. All right, and here's a rhetorical question for you: Will you be drinking much on this cruise? <laughs> uh, well, it's rhetorical. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we got we got the party package, so you know we got cheers, that. We cheers got, package. Oh, cheer, well, well, cheers yeah. to the party pack, party package. Cheers the to that. The alcohol package, right? Yeah. So, um, 
like, like I said, I, I looked at some of the menus and the different drinks they have and all the different uh, ingredients that go into them. You told me that these are people that are, you know, not just bartenders, but mixologists making high quality drinks using high quality alcohol. alcohol bar, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying some different drinks. You know, I'm a really, I drink bourbon and I drink Miller Lite. I'm a just a pretty simple dude. So looking forward to the experience of having some nice tropical drinks. Awesome. Okay, now I'm just gonna give you a list of just a few of the things that you'll have the ability to do while you're on the Vista this week. But um, you already mentioned the casino. Um, there's the Serenity Deck, you know, and the Havana area. Well, we don't have a Havana cabin, so that's not really an option. But the Serenity Deck for relaxation, that's an adults-only area where you can just really relax and, you know, just lay down, go to sleep, read a book, whatever. Um, obviously, you have the Alchemy Bar and a, a number of other wonderful bars. The Red Frog Pub is another really good one. Um, the Atrium Bar, there's great bars, great bartenders there. Poolside, um, you got the water slides, you have the IMAX theater, you have the sports square with a bunch of, you know, games and activities, the um, sky ride and the ropes course and all those things. The food, of course, which you mentioned, the steakhouse is amazing, Gigi's, the Italian restaurant, Capitano, um, what else we have uh, bonsai sushi they're not doing the chef's table on this you have the spa so of those things what are two or three that really stick out that you really look forward to well, while you're on the ship unfortunately for me I'm uh, I have a fear of heights so there's a couple things that I would kind of scratch off just because of that and it's it's not something I'm uh, proud of or happy about it's just you can't teach an old dog new tricks at this point, so I'm not going to do anything else about it. So, um, you know, if, if in the matter of a week, if there's like a movie we could go see in the IMAX, that's an hour, hour and a half long. I wouldn't mind going to do that. I uh, saw the little game zone. I'm, like I said, I'm a simple, I'm a simple dude. Uh, play some bags out there. The little game area, I saw that. Uh, they had the pool soccer thing. I saw that looked like it was kind of fun, but. And anything just uh you know obviously the casinos you know i love that that experience will be fun i don't want to spend too much time there but what, know, just, what games are you into in the casino well first and foremost would be poker just because you know you're not really playing against the house on that you're playing against other people so you'll have a better chance you know the house always wins is a saying for a reason because i mean even if you win you know they're 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 winning no matter what uh, poker just for that reason and I, I enjoy it but uh, my other game go-to game would be craps just uh, the excitement of dice rolling and people's betting and just like the overall aura of the table you know when, hopefully you know the dice get hot and it's not just uh, crap out after crap out uh, craps table is just very exciting it's just the best best word I can use to describe it great all right well um, that's really about it I wanted to get Brent's impressions before we actually got on the ship. Obviously, he's seen the ship, but um, definitely hasn't experienced any of the things. But certainly, have done like most of us do, you know, seen the YouTube videos and those types of things. So he has an idea of what the ship's going to be like. But as we all know, that first time you get on, you don't really, you know, the, the pictures and the videos don't do it justice until you're actually in it. So... Um, we'll definitely do another video and you'll see more of Brent throughout the, these vlogs and then the upcoming weeks. Um, so please subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button and uh, try to help me build this channel up. And I'm going to try to get you as much good content as possible. But until then, we will see you later.